Hello everyone, you're on the In Google Sheets channel and today we have the third lesson of the Google Sheets for Beginners course. We continue exploring the basic functions of Google Sheets. In this lesson, I'll teach you how to export data into separate files, whether it's Excel or PDF, in other words. You'll learn how to convert Google Sheets into the formats you need. I'll also show you how to share access with other users and importantly, how to protect specific data from being edited by them. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So, how do you export to Excel or PDF? Here we have some data. To save it in the format we need, we go to File, Download. Here we see different file format options available for saving the spreadsheet to our computer. Excel XLSX, ODS, PDF, HTML, CSV and TSV. The most commonly used formats are CSV, PDF and XLSX, Microsoft Excel. Let's export our file in PDF format as an example. Click on PDF. A preview window appears so we can confirm what exactly we are exporting. Here we can select the options we need. Click Export. The download starts and once completed the file opens immediately. Now we can send it anywhere, as it's saved on our computer. The same process applies to export into Excel, XLSX. The only difference is that when exporting to Excel, the entire spreadsheet is saved without any preview or modifications. All data, including sheets, formulas, as much as possible, text and colors, is preserved. Now we also have it saved on our computer, and we can do the reverse action we can upload our Excel file back into Google Sheets. For example, someone sent us an Excel file. We can go to File, Import, and here, Choose, Upload. Select our Excel file, click Copy. Then the import settings appear. We can either create a new spreadsheet, create a new sheet, or overwrite our current table completely. Let's create a new sheet. Click Import Data. And now you see that all the sheets from that Excel file have been copied. You might ask, what is this extra sheet that wasn't there when we copied our table? Let me remind you, in the previous video, we, we hid it. That was a hidden sheet. It was also copied into Excel. And when we imported it back, it appeared in our table. So now it's visible again. Let's hide it once more. And here are our two sheets. That's clear. Let's move on. Now let's suppose there's someone who needs to view this spreadsheet online. You can simply copy the link with Ctrl C and send it to that person so they can open the spreadsheet through their Google account. We open another browser to check but right away we notice that access is required. We can click Request Access and send a request. After that you, as the owner, need to go to Share, and you'll receive this access request. Without permission, the person cannot connect to the spreadsheet, so use Allow Access and specify the type of access they will have. It can be Viewer, Commenter, or Editor. Let's choose Editor, Share. OK, done. Now, when this user refreshes the page, they'll have access, and they can do anything you can do. Delete data, add data, insert columns, and so on. But how do we prevent someone from coming in and messing up the spreadsheet? The first option is simple. Don't give them full editor access. Instead, set their access to viewer. That way they can only see the spreadsheet. We close their editing rights, and after that, they can't change anything anymore. Now. When they refresh the page, they can't do a thing. They open it. Try clicking buttons, try inserting or copying something, but it doesn't work, because their access is set to view only. There's also another option. You can keep someone as an editor, but for example, I need to make sure that in this specific sheet, nobody changes anything. I go to the sheet, right click, and choose Protect Sheet. Here, the sheet protection settings appear. We give it a name, select the sheet, and click Set Permissions. 
Then we choose who will have full access to this sheet. I remove the user I don't want and click done. Now we close it and after refreshing, this user can no longer do anything in this sheet. Their access here is blocked. But in the other sheet, they still have full rights. They can edit, delete or add anything they want. You can also allow editing of a specific range inside your protected sheet. Let's go back to protect sheet, click cancel and open the protection we already created. Here we see the option accept certain cells. Click it and select the range we need. For example, best null bits. Click OK and then done. In this case, our user can open the protected sheet and edit only the column that you allowed. As you see, I can't edit any other column, only the one you've given permission for. And just like we have sheet protection, we also have protection for a specific range only. Let's create a copy of our sheet. We already know how to do that. Keep in mind when you copy a sheet, all protections are removed. So. If you need protection again, you'll have to repeat the same steps. Now let's say we want to protect only this row. We select it, right click, go to view more row actions and choose protect range. The process here is basically the same. We enter a name for the range and click set permissions. Then we choose who will have access to this range and click done. After that, any user who is not included in the permissions will not be able to do anything in this first row, but they will still be able to edit everything else. From what you've just seen, here's a small life hack. If for example, you don't want anyone in your spreadsheet to add new columns or new rows, all you need to do is protect the first row and the first column. We protect them, set the permissions, so that only we have access and click done. After that, no user will be able to add anything new while still being able to edit all the other data. This way, you protect yourself from clumsy hands, which unfortunately happens quite often. And now a few important tips. In a spreadsheet, you are working with many users and you grant them access. If you give someone editor access, you can say, they almost have the same rights as the owner, except for deleting the spreadsheet. Basically, all the other rights are available to them. They can add new users, and they can also change access permissions. This is very important, because if you give access to someone untrustworthy, they could open the spreadsheet to everyone. Uh, that means anyone with the link you copied could enter and do whatever they want edit anything at all. This also applies to range protection. An editor can close any ranges they want, set permissions for them and choose the users they want to work with. At the moment, the only person an editor cannot restrict is the owner of the spreadsheet. Everyone else they can block if they choose. I hope this is clear. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like. And if you don't want to uh, miss new videos, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.